Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm going to show you around Dublin. I'm Bibi, and I'm going to show you around Belfast. Okay, Bibi, let's go. Anybody who visits Dublin must visit this place. So here we are in the Chester Beatty Library. Lonely Planet says this isn't just the best museum in Ireland. They reckon it's one of the best in Europe, and they're right. And it's all free. This is the Bank of Ireland. So it was formerly the Houses of Parliament in Ireland. And I really want to show you the House of Lords inside. The Houses of Parliament had two chambers, the Commons and the House of Lords, and this is the House of Lords. Yeah? Well, hanging up on the walls here, there are two wonderful tapestries dating from 1734, presented to the House of Lords. And uh, the one above us, you'll probably recognise the man I on the do. white horse. Yes, I do. King William do. himself. King Billy. I'm going to take a stroll through Trinity College on the way to Merrion Square. And uh, I'm sure you've been to Trinity College a I few have, times, yeah? So, yes, yeah. I've been you know, one of Dublin's One times. of Dublin's most favourite sort of sites for visitors. Yeah, you've heard of Bloomsday. I have, Day yes. Celebrated by James Joyce, where Leopold Moon walked around the city of Dublin. Yes. But here's one of the places that he visited. Hey! Swedish <laughs> chemist shop. The cake of lemony syrup. Wow. No, no. It is lemony, lemony. Mm. This Leopold is Bloom it kept it in his pocket all day, didn't all day he? Long, yeah. yeah. OK, baby, that's my Dublin. Well, Joe, thanks very much. It's my turn now. We're going to head to Belfast. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, I love that Enterprise train from Dublin to Belfast. Oh, it's brilliant. It's so easy. City centre, it? city centre. Two centre? hours, 15 minutes. Yes, two hours, 15 minutes. Here we are in Belfast. Here we are. Now, Joe, we're going in here up the stone steps to the Lindenhall Library. Uh, the library itself dates back to 1788. Uh, it is the oldest library in Belfast. And it moved into these premises here in the late 1800s. The library here is a massive collection of very rare books. Just like Dublin, uh, Belfast here is also quite compact and you can get across the city easily from one place to another. So Joe, we're coming now here to the entrance of the great city hall. We're going to go in here and go right through. Oh, wow. Well, well done. Oh, this is... Are you impressed? Oh, that's fabulous. Now, you know, of course, that this uh, city hall here, and particularly this great uh, central dome, is modelled, you know, on that of St. Paul's. St. Paul's, oh, yeah. Paul's yeah. People in London. I've been in there. The first parliament opened yeah. here in 1921. And uh, in attendance was King George IV and Queen Mary. And these are the seats, the chairs, uh, that they sat in. The next one thing what you're going to see is a surprise. You'll really like Your surprise. Guess where you are, Captain can... Joe. This is uh, Dock and Pump House for Belfast's most famous daughter, uh -huh. the Titanic. Whoa! Hey, look at this, Joe. Lovely. So you can see this control panel here with all of these buttons and so on. Uh, that controls the volume and the flow of water. The dry dock itself now is just out here. You can see it through mm -hmm. the window. Mr. Scott, I need more power. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it wonderful how uh, in both city centres there are so many places you can disappear into and you're into lovely peace and quiet and calm. Hi Joe, here we are, the Palm House. This here is lovely as you can see, this lovely big curved central dome. Now this man who designed you know, these two wings, Richard Turner from Dublin, uh, he also was responsible for, you have in Glasnevin in Dublin, you have a beautiful yeah. Palm House, haven't you? And then uh, Kew Gardens. Oh, baby, I've had a great day out in Belfast. Thank you. That's brilliant, Joe. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I've had a fabulous time in Dublin. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and we know you like Dublin. And Belfast too, so get here soon.